I YouTube. Okay, now the one I'm about to put out right now is called Midnight Madness. And just to let you know, it is kind of creepy. I have a disturbed brain, if y'all don't know. Alright, well, let's get it. And I know I have audio problems. Quick vision. Night took sun in sight before seven was a night. Kill you and his wife. You think I got a problem? So sleep tight. It's midnight madness. Midnight took the sun in sight before I stabbed him with a knife. Kill you and your wife. So sleep tight. Midnight madness. Welcome to my madness, the pain that I have in hand is about to be sprayed all over the game, and I don't have no shame, so you fucking with the ma nigga. Now let me tell you a little story about when I went into your house last night, and all I saw was a big ass knife. Like, locked in, saw your son under the covers, pulled him out, signed him up against the wall like he was Paul Wall. Please then, stash the skull frame in, the game's mine, where are you in there? Up in the grave, a shallow wood, because you're a shallow bastard, and that's what you get. I killed your wife, killed her in front of your kids, saw your kids screaming, drowned your daughter with mud, a puddle, and now you're screaming as soon as you get in the huddle, trying to tell everyone that you saw a monster. You best believe I am a monster. The ill minds, they don't believe, but when they turn around, they have ill eyes, all covered in black. When I get up on the fame, I ain't gonna be no shame. Shameful when I get up on the beat. I should be ashamed because I'm playing a part of this devilish game, making you all perish. I don't give a fuck. And then when you thought it was all over, your wife was all finished up. Blood sets leading up to the floor. So you walk in there and you find out you're stuck in the floor. I have the guts hanging all over the floor. You don't know me. All you see is a man sitting on the bed with your wife's face wearing it like it was some type of mask, slipping the blood off his lips. And all you can do is run away, but you slip in the puddle of blood. You turn around to see if he's still dead, but no, he's gone. The nightmare's almost over now. You're all finished up. You're like, wow, did I just see this? But all of a sudden, something takes over your conscience. You walk downstairs into the shed and grab a rope. You tie it to your balcony. You just hope as you jumped off and the rope tightened up around your throat. Midnight took your son in tight before I stabbed him with the knife. Kill you and your wife. So sleep tight. This midnight madness, baby. One more story before we throw away. I'm a shady nigga. <laughs> Digging tips into a shallow grave. Right. Remember one time in the school of six years, they were all dying. I feel so bad for him, but something suddenly took over. I pulled a knife out and I stabbed him. I cut them open like they were some cantaloupe. I split their head like they were antelopes. And I took them in, I took needles of the blood and I stuck it in my veins. Now I'm going insane, I can't even tell what I'm saying no more. Man, I'm killing everyone and leaving them dead on the floor. I don't know what to do no more, man, I'm going insane. Midnight madness, God, it's in my brain.